This is a story of how Nambe came into our lives and changed everything. Well, I think like every couple, we started off bright-eyed and bushy-tailed and we had the wedding and the honeymoon and all the gifts and setting up home. You know, the beginning of our marriage was great. It was fine. I, I enjoyed it. Things started to change. It felt like there was something missing. There were more arguments. Something in, in the house, maybe it was in the kitchen, that just wasn't there. He was able to share some of his frustration, you know, and really it, a lot of it boiled down to um, our cookware. There's this pan, right? It's, it's ancient. It's cast iron. It was my grandmother's. Uh, yeah, so she'd cook with this pan. This pan. I was cooking in a rusty pan. Hello, I'm the rusty pan. Would you like me to fry your eggs? No, thank you. You've got rust in you. I've always thought, well, rust is, you know, a little more iron in your food, and it's kind of good for you. Hello, would you like a hamburger? No, thank you. Would you like... An eggs benedict? No. Would you like a margarita? Hmm. Maybe. But, you know, sometimes it got to the point where he would just storm out in the middle of cooking dinner. Anyway, sometimes at dinner I just have to walk out because... because I, I just couldn't stand the rusty pan. So I did what I had to do and I went shopping. And that's where I discovered the Nambe cook serve skillet. Then my wife comes home with this blue box, okay? And uh, it changed everything, let me tell you. 12 inches of stainless steel genius. Uh, I never really thought of cookware as elegant or sexy, but yeah, this pan had it going on. I'd, I'd dress that up and take it to the prom. I don't know where I'd put the corsage though, that'd be weird. So then we started cooking and there was no more feeling of missing something. The great thing about having the pan is that it gives us something to come together around. Clearly there's a lot of thought that's been put into the design of the pan. For me, it just looks cool and it's shiny. The inside is just perfectly smooth stainless steel. There's no little rivets for food to get stuck on if you're trying to wash it. It heats evenly throughout the whole pan, not just on the bottom like some pans, but all the way up the sides as well. So the lid is interesting as well. It's two layers, so it retains heat inside really well. And the bottom of it, when you take it off, it's got all these little bumps on it. It has these little bumps on it that do something. I actually mistakenly used it to massage my foot one time. They call those basting nubs, which basically means that when you have the lid on the pan, the condensation collects on those and drips down back into the pot so it keeps things really moist. Because of the way it's made, you can use it on gas, electric, induction. So now the centerpiece of the dining room table is the Nambe saute pan. Oh, and it's got food in it. My husband seems to love it just as much as I do. In fact, sometimes he just sits there and stares at the pan. Whoa, hey, how are you doing? Nambe saute pan. What are you doing later? Probably getting put in the dishwasher because your dishwasher's safe. You know what I really love about the pan is that it brings us together. So now we spend time cooking. We have a lot of fun. In the same way that the Nambe saute pan brings together form and function, it has also brought my wife and I together. 